Few cases have captured the imagination and intrigue of researchers and enthusiasts alike, as much as the Cash Landrum incident. This puzzling event, which unfolded on a desolate Texas highway in 1980, remains one of the most compelling and enigmatic UFO encounters in history. Despite decades of investigation and speculation, the true nature of the incident and its implications continue to elude resolution. However, just recently, a photograph of the unidentified object has just been released for the first time, proving once and for all that something mysterious was involved. After their visit, Vicky Landrum, accompanied by her grandson Colby and her friend Betty Cash, began their journey back to Dayton in Texas. However, their ordinary evening quickly transformed into a harrowing experience when they reached Huffman. The events that unfolded were both astonishing and terrifying, leaving a lasting impact on their lives. The road they traversed was known for its exceptional isolation, primarily serving as a connection between the small towns it passes through. Despite being just 30 miles away from the bustling metropolis of Houston, one could journey along this road without encountering another soul. The lack of human presence along this route is truly remarkable, attracting only the occasional resident of the towns it links. Its remoteness grants a sense of solitude and tranquility, allowing travellers to immerse themselves in the picturesque surroundings without distraction. On their journey down the desolate highway, a half hour had passed when an unusual and captivating sight caught the attention of all three travellers. It was a peculiar and radiant blue diamond that seemed to descend from above, gracefully slicing through the sky. As it reached a lower altitude, it hovered effortlessly at the level of the surrounding trees, gliding steadily over the lush foliage that adorned the sides of the road. As the unidentified flying object traversed the expanse of the sky, a sudden eruption of intense flames emanated from its underside, resembling fiery cones. Each eruption propelled the mysterious craft upward, seemingly effortlessly floating as it observed the terrain below. Progressing steadily, the hope of evading the object drove them forward until, to their dismay, it descended onto the road ahead, obstructing their path and compelling Betty to abruptly hit the brakes. This unexpected encounter immobilized them, enveloping the atmosphere with an air of uncertainty and curiosity as they pondered the nature and intentions of this peculiar phenomenon. All three individuals were filled with a profound sense of wonder as they gazed upon the dazzling and gem-like spacecraft positioned before them. However, as time passed, Colby's initial amazement gradually transformed into a growing sense of fear and apprehension. Both women decided to step out of the vehicle to further investigate the extraordinary sight. Betty eagerly approached the front of the car in order to gain a closer and more detailed view, while Vicky chose to return to her seat momentarily perhaps needing a moment to gather her thoughts. Despite the scorching heat scalding her face, Betty found herself unable to avert her gaze from the mysterious object. The entire vicinity seemed to be bathed in a luminous glow emanating from the craft, as if it were daylight. The outer surface of the object appeared to be made of a lackluster aluminum, with its shape characterized by blunt edges. Within the middle of the craft, several blue lights flickered intermittently, creating an enigmatic spectacle. Accompanying the craft's descent, a distinct beeping sound resonated through the air, further deepening the sense of intrigue and fascination. When the car started to ascend, the woman finally made her way towards it. However, at that point, the car door had become scorching hot. It was impossible for her to touch it directly, so she had to improvise by wrapping her jacket around her hand as protection. Only then was she able to successfully open the door and gain access to the interior. Upon hearing the sound of helicopters, specifically large military ones, emanating from various directions, Betty later recounted that they seemed to be attempting to surround the peculiar object being observed. However, within a matter of seconds, the enigmatic craft, which possessed a distinctive diamond shape, began to ascend above the encompassing trees. Persistently trailing behind, the helicopters gradually receded, leaving the three witnesses filled with fear and bewilderment, stranded on the deserted stretch of highway that had fallen into an unsettling silence. It was an extraordinary sight that would forever remain etched in their memories. After activating the air conditioning system to lower the temperature inside the vehicle, Betty embarked on her journey homeward. Every now and then, she caught sight of a UFO lingering in the distant expanse. 
The luminosity emanating from the unidentified flying object was so intense that it unveiled the presence of accompanying helicopters that continued to soar alongside it, making their presence known. After spending time with Vicky and Colby at Vicky's residence, Betty made her way back to her own house. Little did they know that within a matter of hours, all three of them would start experiencing various distressing symptoms such as blisters, swelling of the neck, feeling sick, and even loss of consciousness. Betty's condition deteriorated rapidly, and she narrowly avoided slipping into a coma, ultimately ending up at Houston Parkway Hospital. As if her health struggles weren't enough, Betty also had to face the unfortunate consequence of her hair falling out in clumps and her face swelling to such an extent that her vision was impaired. This series of events left Betty in a profoundly delicate state, necessitating immediate medical attention and care. All three individuals who had witnessed the peculiar occurrences, with Betty being the most affected, exhibited symptoms suggesting exposure to radiation. Their appearance was so alarming that numerous nurses initially mistook them for victims of severe burns. The signs of radiation exposure were evident in their physical condition and demeanor, indicating a deep impact on their well-being. Although the individuals involved eventually managed to overcome the traumatic incident, they continued to face ongoing challenges with the emergence of unexpected blister-like formations on their skin. Whatever eerie phenomenon they witnessed on that fateful evening, it left behind lasting health complications that persisted throughout their lives. Presently, Colby is still alive and has been fortunate enough to navigate the effects of this encounter. However, both Betty and Vicky, unfortunately, succumbed to their respective ailments in 1998 and 2007. This chronicle serves as a poignant reminder of the enduring impact that such anomalous incidents can have on individuals and their well-being. Several months later, specifically in April 1981, an unexpected encounter occurred in Dayton that added another layer of complexity to the already peculiar incident. As part of a strategic effort to generate publicity, a CH-47 helicopter was scheduled to touch down in Dayton, providing an opportunity for the public to observe the vehicle up close. Additionally, attendees were granted the unique chance to engage in conversation with the pilot. Sensing an opportunity to alleviate Colby's newfound anxiety towards helicopter noises, Vicky decided it would be beneficial to bring him along to this event. During his interaction with the public, the pilot made a statement asserting his prior presence in the area, which he attributed to a previous encounter with a UFO. However, Vicky, who happened to be one of the individuals involved in the mentioned incident, promptly revealed herself and narrated the injuries she had sustained during that peculiar event. Surprisingly, the pilot's demeanor abruptly transformed. He swiftly took measures to have both Vicky and Colby, presumably another person involved, removed from the scene. Moreover, the pilot adamantly refused to discuss any further details regarding their encounter with the unidentified flying object. The abrupt shift in the pilot's behavior left Vicky and Colby perplexed and excluded from the conversation. As per the visit organization's report, an additional individual who was present at the scene stepped forward to provide their account of the incident. In their statement, they confirmed witnessing the exchange that took place. Furthermore, Visit managed to locate the pilot involved in the incident, who consented to sharing information on the condition of anonymity. While the pilot did not disclose extensive details, he did acknowledge being aware of the incident, as well as the injuries sustained by Vicky, Betty and Colby. This revelation sheds further light on the events, affirming the credibility of the reported incident and the severity of the injuries sustained by the aforementioned individuals. The case at hand holds its own fascination, but what makes it even more intriguing is its connection to the United States military. It is quite surprising to discover that reports of military CH-47 helicopters being present during UFO sightings are more frequent than anticipated. This particular aspect drew the attention of investigators who meticulously examined it. Interestingly, both commercial and military airfields denied any involvement in the incident, asserting that they had not dispatched any CH-47 helicopters that evening. Furthermore, they went a step further by stating that the presence of CH-47 helicopters is not a common occurrence at their respective locations. This adds another layer of curiosity to the already perplexing situation. In addition to Vicky Landrum and Betty Cash, 
Three other individuals came forward as witnesses to the sighting of the diamond-shaped craft that evening. One of them was an off-duty police officer who was accompanied by his wife, and the other was an oil field worker who was on his way back home. However, unlike Landrum and Cash, these witnesses did not pull over and exit their vehicles, which subsequently resulted in them not experiencing any sickness or injury. It is worth noting that all of these witnesses also corroborated the presence of multiple high-strength military helicopters in the vicinity. The additional testimonies from these individuals further reinforce the credibility of the incident and provide a more comprehensive understanding of the events that transpired that fateful evening. Vicky willingly agreed to participate in a hypnotic regression session with Dr. Leo Sprinkle, a renowned professor from Wyoming University, in order to delve deeper into the authenticity of her story. This comprehensive and in-depth approach aimed to thoroughly explore the details of her encounter. Following the sessions, Dr. Sprinkle became convinced of the veracity of Vicky's account, firmly believing that the unidentified craft she witnessed was indeed under intelligent control. Doubts and concerns arise among the majority of UFO researchers when considering the level of military involvement in such incidents. This subject is particularly intriguing as it delves into the comprehensive exploration of various cases. It is quite evident that those involved in the events of December 1980 are cognizant of the immense suffering endured by the individuals impacted. However, it is disheartening to note that no known effort has been made thus far to extend any form of assistance, whether in terms of financial aid or medical support. It is crucial to emphasize that there is no concrete evidence suggesting that the intention behind these incidents was to inflict harm upon any of the witnesses involved in this particular case. Despite the unfortunate mistreatment they endured subsequent to the encounter, it appears that these individuals were simply present in the wrong place at an inopportune moment. This lack of support and the unfavorable circumstances they found themselves in highlights the need for a more compassionate and empathetic response to their plight. So, what do you make of the mysterious Cash Landrum incident? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.